All right, guys, what you see here is the frame with the primer on it. So it's almost ready for paint. And what I'm showing you now here is the sandpaper with a grade of 400. Uh, and I'm going to use this one. The used one was used for the fork and the new one for the frame. Uh, it's on the spongy layer, so um, I'm not going to be taking too much of the primer. It's only for smoothening because the primer on, the, on this frame is kind of rough. Uh, it's kind of rough surface. Uh, and I did put a two layers uh, of the primer here. I'm trying not to touch my frame too much with my greasy fingers, but the frame will be degreased anyway. I'm just trying to be quite precise here. Uh, you have to be very careful uh, on this phase of the work, uh, not to take off too much of the primer. So any parts that stand out like the cable guides or any curves or some, some welds perhaps, uh, be just very careful with, with those. So um, I'm done here. The next phase is degreasing. I'm always degreasing the frame after each phase. As you can see, I still have um, new uh, gloves, so I'm always replacing my gloves, really trying to, to do it as, as well as I can. Um, yeah, degreasing a whole frame now and showing you here that uh, all the threads have been uh, protected now. So all the threads for the uh, brake pivots, for the BB and the headset and the rear derailleur hanger, everything is now protected. Uh, so that's the work I've done and now the surface of the frame is much more smooth uh, and after degreasing it is just ready uh, for paint. Um, I'm just showing you here that uh, there is maybe a bit of thread that you can see there but it's no problem when the, a bit of the, of the paint gets there it's okay. Now this is the paint. Uh, it's a acrylic paint with the hardener so this one was ordered just a day before I was, I was going to paint the frame while I was primering putting the primer I ordered the, the paint and uh, I just uh, picked it up now at the paint shop and I have 12 hours uh, for using it. So uh, no problem for me because I just, uh, I just um, picked it up. It was just newly made for me. And so that's not the can of the paint that you just buy somewhere in the store, but specially ordered with a hardener. So I hope it will be quite, uh, quite uh, hard, but there will be some issue with the, with the paint anyway. So stay with me to the end. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using very, very short moves. Uh, once more, I'm not uh, really pro in um, painting. Um, I haven't been doing it a lot before. Uh, and by uh, painting the frame in this way, you are really avoiding any uh, bruises. So that's important. You may maybe use a bit more of the paint here, but it's okay. So, uh, the frame is done and this is how the bike looks like. Um, it's uh, snowy white, it's kind of um, glossy, it's not like super glossy, but, but not matte as well. Um, I, was, I was told in the paint shop that uh, not matte frame will be much easier for, uh, for cleaning and uh, if this is a mountain bike, mountain bike there will be some grease or oil from the chain on the frame and some mud and cleaning it will be much easier so i just did that and i love it it looks uh, just great as i told you before uh, i did use only 400 dollars for this project and it's thanks to selling they're like reselling the old parts vintage uh, shimano xt parts that i purchased with this bike now as I told you uh, there were some issues um, with the bicycles now with the bicycle now the the paint looked okay and it looked quite uh, hard for me uh, but the guy that bought from me this uh, it, he bought just the frame set he put some stickers on the frame set and on some areas uh, the paint would just come off that's a shame guys and I have no idea what's, what's the reason for that. Uh, I contacted the paint shop uh, trying to um, uh, just, you know, to give them some warranty claim, but I was told that everything was in the right order. I did everything right. And all those chemicals I used were right for this frame. So once more, the first part, um, the first phase was the remover. No problem. I removed all the paint. There was no old paint um, on the frame. 
uh, it worked very very fine uh, for me so uh, that's not the issue that's some some kind of some particles of old paint on the frame it's not the issue here because this remover worked very very well after removing the paint the second phase was to use those um, sandpapers you can see starting from 120 through uh, 240 grade uh, through 240 till uh, 400 grade so um, the frame was really well prepared for the paint. The third um, uh, phase here was to uh, fix the dent and this is a special filler that's the paste uh, specially designed for alloy so I had an alumi aluminum frame this one was with the alloy particles in it with a hardener and it's really hard it, that area is not the issue that's the primer only for the for the filler that I put on the dent uh, and I put it only on that area two layers so that area is not the issue so this phase once more uh, was done very very well and finally uh, the last thing I used before paint was the primer and that's the I was told this is the the, the best primer I could use uh, it all all those um, chemicals work well together so two layers of the primer of the of the frame that was super clean very well uh, degreased and the primer was um, for sure uh, dry before I painted it because I put two layers on the primer 24 hours before painting and the primer dries up very quickly you can you can even do it uh, the same day as I'm showing you here uh, the frame, the, the paint does seem to be quite hard. Um, I've sent, I've sent uh, the fork to my friend for some, for some tune-up and there was some um, paint chip on this one, but uh, I don't think the, that the, the paint is like um, not hard or not really sticking to the frame. But then when the guy who purchased this frame said, uh, he put the stickers on it and on some areas, come off and you can see the silver uh, surface of the frame. So uh, it's a shame that this uh, series of the episodes I'm actually ending up with the question to you guys. What could be the issue here? Uh, could those stickers be the issue? Um, could, could that be some kind of uh, I don't know, chemicals on the stickers, on the glue of the stickers? Uh, that would somehow react to the uh, to the paint of the frame, uh, but I've never experienced that because I uh, I also uh, before I was also putting some stickers on the frame, and then putting one more layer of of the um, of the like coating on it, and it was okay. So I don't know what's the issue here. That's the question to you guys. The the bike is awesome. I made it like one by ten. Uh, with tune-up of my MC650, um, it's actually now uh, DD60 because it, it has the lockout and the spring and everything, so it works um, very, very, very fine. The bike weighs 10.4 kilos with the Mavic Cross, Crossmax uh, in the front, tubeless. Um, I didn't find the, the right wheel um, to the rear so far but it's an awesome bike but shame the issue with the stickers I don't know uh, what happened so I'm waiting for you guys in the comment section what do you think about it this is the last part of this um, painting job and I'm gonna be doing more of um, more of some some old school and vintage pro projects maybe changing the technology so we will see thanks for watching and for your support and I'll see you soon bye bye